Alrighty guys, welcome to your sixth video and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting styling the web page and making it look a little bit prettier. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make an overall main CSS file and what this is going to be is the CSS for every single web page. Not one specific web page. I'm talking about the text color, um, maybe the I don't know, just the overall links, pretty much the main styling that we need on every single web page. So I'm going to go ahead and make my little embed thing right here. Link, relative, and the first thing I want to do is link to this style sheet. And we didn't create this yet, but we will in just a second. And this will be located in I like to put all of my CSS files in a separate directory CSS and it makes it so much easier than just scattering your PHP files and mixing them in with your CSS files and I'm gonna name this main.css now remember this main CSS file this is gonna be the file that's included on every single web page like I said it's responsible for your links your text color styles that you need on every single web page I can't stress that enough so now what I want to do is since we linked to this we might as well go ahead and create it right now so let me just type something in and put file save as new folder CSS and remember inside this directory is where all of our CSS files are going to be and this one was named main.css so there we go and now the very first thing we want to do is we want to center the web page now so many people have so much difficulty centering a web page you think it would just be easy but it's actually pretty hard so let me show you guys how to do that first the first thing we want to do before we even center the body is we want to set all the margins to zero pixels and all of the padding to zero pixels as well and last but not least list style type none now the reason I'm doing all this in applying this to all the elements is some elements by default they have default margins default padding in the list by default um, like unordered list and ordered list they have little things that appear next to it I am totally resetting everything so we're gonna be responsible for every little detail of every little item complete control over our entire website so now what I want to do is I want to center the body and in order to do that not Audi body text align center now this doesn't mean that all the text on our web page is going to be centered but this is what we need to do uh, so far to center the body font family Arial and for font size let's go ahead and set it 12 pixels by default and for the color of all the font I really don't like black because I don't know it just looks like so standard so what I'm gonna do is by default the color is gonna be 30 30 30 now this is a really dark gray it's almost black but it just gives us a little bit of styling that makes it a little bit prettier than plain old black so let me go ahead and the next thing I want to do is I want to apply um, something special to our HTML elements so for HTML5 we have that header um, the nav which is navigation section a side and footer now a lot of people um, asked me this question they said whenever you're making HTML5 I understand a side and section kind of but how are they different than div well they're pretty much a side and section and all of these elements are pretty much the exact same thing as a div the only difference is whenever like search engines and stuff look at your website it doesn't know the contents inside a div it's saying okay is there a picture in here is there a text is there a navigation what HTML5 allows you to do is like a div plus one it's like a div but better not only does it give you all the functionality of a div but it also explains the content type inside of that section so that's the little background I should have explained that in my HTML5 tutorials but I didn't what I want to do is I want to display all of these as a block now block is pretty much the opposite of inline which you know paragraphs and spans are inline um, you should already know what that is as well so after this we need to do a little more styling and this is kind of a cross-browser compatibility thing now on Google Chrome 
Let me give you a little bit of history about a browser. On Google Chrome, whenever you have an image and you want to link the image, for example, I want this logo right here to link to my website. No matter if you're on the search page or the register page, whenever you click this logo, I want it to link to the home page, just like you see there. Well, on Google Chrome, by default, whenever you have an image as a link, it doesn't display a border around it. But on Internet Explorer in Firefox, it does display a border around it. So that's kind of annoying because you're trying to develop a website and it looks different on different browsers. So what we're saying right here is, on all of my images, no matter what browser you are, I don't want any borders on any of them. So this is pretty much the main um, styling for the website. Now from here on what we need to do is I'm gonna make a bunch of different looking headers. I already tested around the looks of these so they look beautiful and that's what we're gonna be doing in the next tutorial. But make sure you make your main CSS file, store it in a CSS directory, and make sure you link to it in your register.php and in the next tutorial it's probably gonna take two tutorials actually to finish the rest of the CSS file. So anyways I'll quit talking now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, yada yada and I'll see you next time.